Good morning. We're going to jump straight in. So it's Monday morning, so we just take a moment to waken our bodies up after the weekend. So just finding a seat where you can be comfortable, doesn't have to be cross-legged. There's some way you can just let the eyes close and just find a little bit of length in your spine. A little lift out of the waist and then relax your shoulders. And just invite three slow breaths in and out of the body. See if you can feel where the next inhale goes. See if you can feel it coming into the nose, into the throat, maybe into the chest. And then let it go. And we're going to drop chin to the chest. See if you can draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Notice if you've started to curve the spine, see if you can keep up nice and tall and just start to feel that stretch in the back of the neck. And then take left ear to left shoulder, a little bit of weight through the right shoulder. And then like a little semicircle, draw the chin back down to the chest and all the way around. Right ear to right shoulder, heavy through the left. And do that one more time. Little semicircle, left ear, left shoulder. Take a couple of breaths, notice if you're holding your breath. Keep breathing, it's good for you. And then we'll just hold it here, see if you can roll the right shoulder. Just while the head's over to the left. Roll it one way, roll it the other. And then see, so just bring a little bit more weight into the shoulder, into that elbow. Okay, and then down to the chin, chest, sorry. Right ear to right shoulder. Heavy through the left. And then start to draw a circle with the left shoulder. One way, and take it the other way. And then let it be heavy. And then chin down to the chest. See if you can draw the shoulder blades together, keep the head down, and then draw the shoulder blades down your back. And then slowly lift up the gaze, keep the neck long, and then we'll lift up the uh, lengthening the front of the neck. And see if you can breathe into your throat, whatever that means to you. Draw the shoulders down. And then bring your head to centre, open the eyes, give the shoulders a shrug and take a bit of a wriggle into the waist, waken up the body and then take that up into the shoulders. Let's bring fingertips to the shoulders, draw the elbows together and start to draw some circles with the elbows and let that come right up into the shoulders. And see if you can take the elbows as wide as is comfortable. So listen to your body, don't cause any stress or strain. Nice big circles, just really, my shoulders are clunking massively here. So see if you can release any cracks and clunks. And then we'll reverse the circles opposite way. Feeling your breath, notice if you're holding your breath again, keep breathing. Okay, and then release, just give everything a shake. Right fingertips down, reach up with the left, take a nice side bend over. I like to bounce in and out, feels quite nice early in the morning. So really root down through both hips. You might be just quite still, you might be quite high. See what feels nice. And then we'll reverse the other side. Feeling your breath. And we'll take it one more time over, right hand down, reach up and over. Maybe this time if you were bouncing before, maybe you'll hold it and really reach through those top fingers. Give them a wriggle, really root down through your left hip, your left leg. Bringing it up, taking it over to the other side. Big stretch. And again, keep breathing. So we can come into shapes and suddenly stop breathing for some reason. So feel your breath, feel where your breath goes when you come into these different shapes. Okay, bringing it up. 
and then a very gentle twist towards your right. So if you can turn your gaze, look over your right shoulder and bring it through centre and take it the opposite way. And once again, just waking up our spine. If you've been gardening all weekend like me, you're gonna feel this. It feels quite nice. And then bring it back. A little bit of a wriggle. We do love a wriggle. And then we're gonna make our way to hands and knees and just start to get a little bit more into our spine, bringing a little bit more movement. So knees are hip distance apart, wrists are underneath the shoulders, springers, fingers, springers? Fingers are spread. Okay, we drop the belly, we inhale, looking forward, see so if we can draw the shoulder blades together. And exhale, rounding away, push away from the ground. Arms are nice and strong throughout this whole movement. So drop the belly, inhale, looking forward, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round. Take another couple. The next time you exhale, rounding through, send it all the way, hips to the heels, chest to the floor, into your child pose. Let the forearms kiss the ground and then bring your chest forward, lifting it up, straight arms. So it's a slightly bigger, deeper cat cow. Flowing with your breath and really bringing mobility into your spine, into your shoulders. And don't forget your neck. See if your neck is just kind of, you've got your head hanging, bring your head into it. So look forwards as you lift up, look back as you come down. And let's take two more. This time, when you bring it down, we're going to hold it down. See if you can really let the lower back relax. And then look towards your hands, come right up onto the fingertips, stretch the arms, and see if you can draw your shoulders in towards your back. Big arm stretch. And then walk your fingers off to the right side. So you're bringing your chest towards your right knee. I don't know if you can see this on my camera, but reach through your left arm and draw the left hip crease back. Oh, that feels good for me. And breathe into that space, see what you can soften. And then look towards your hands again, walk them back through center, just reach it out in center. So you can feel the difference between the left arm, the right arm from that stretch. And then take it over to the left leg, reaching through the right arm and drawing the right hip crease back. And breathing, see what you can soften. And look towards your hands, reach up through the fingers, stretch, and then bring it back through center, hands to the floor, sinking it down. And then let's take a downward dog. So take your hands as wide as your mat, spread your fingers, Tuck your toes, see if you can lift it up from your child pose. So try not to come up to hands and knees today. So really root your fingers down and then tuck the toes, lift the knees up, straight up into your downward dog. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. And let's really bend the right knee, almost like you're gonna kiss it. And then really bend the left knee. Big breathing, feel your breath. And to that one more time, each leg. So bending the right knee. See so if you can bring a little bit of weight into your left heel. Uh, switch. And then a little bit of weight through both heels, but don't straighten your legs. We haven't done much on the legs at all. So nice soft legs, just a little bit of weight through the heels as we just straighten, not straighten, bring a bit of length into the backs of the legs. And then really push through your fingers, through your knuckles. See if you can draw the shoulder blades into the body. Breathe. And then come right up onto the tiptoes. Bring your shoulders over the wrists, lower the knees down. And keep the toes tucked. And we're going to walk our body in towards our heels. So this might be excruciating in your toes. You can keep it forwards right on your fingertips. But try and keep the toes tucked. 
You might be able to walk all the way in and sit back on the heels. And wherever you are, just have a wriggle. See if you can get the little toes, get the big toes. Give them a good wriggle, waking up the feet. And then bring it forwards. Hands and knees, just give the feet a bit of a tap or a bit of a shake, release it. And then coming back to kneeling and then swing the legs out, bringing it into a seat. Where does 10 minutes go? So quick. Okay, I do do, if anyone wants longer, I do hour long classes. You can look at my website. But uh, just coming back to yourself. Finding a seat where you can be comfortable, let the eyes close, let the hands go wherever they want to. And see if you can allow yourself three full breaths. Notice if you're already rushing off. Give yourself three full breaths with your full awareness. At the end of the next exhale, bring the hands together in prayer. Bring a little smile to your lips. Set a positive intention for your day. Something great is going to happen today. What are you going to do? Okay, and then we bow our head to our hands, the mind to the body. Namaste. Thank you very much. Share the love with everybody today, whoever it may be, even if it's just a plant. Have a great day.